In this video, we're going to look at section one of the Professional Horizon 7.7 .7 exam 2019. Um, and this section is going to be about the installation and configuration of Horizon server uh, components. Uh, and before we get into the detail of that, there's just a couple of things that I'm going to suggest to you. Uh, one of them is um, that Horizon and desktop mobility in general um, is a collection of many technologies. Um, there are one or two of the technologies that are perhaps quite um, technical in themselves, but it tends to be that it's the collection of these technologies, the putting them together, achieving the uh, objective. And a lot of the questions that you will find uh, that you will come across in this exam will be objectively based. They'll be based around trying to achieve something on behalf of a client and thinking about how you might achieve that or if something's not quite working, why is it not working? So it's understanding the connection between all of these components and what can be done with certain components and what can't be done that's quite important. Uh, the second thing that I'll say is that um, the objectives are in a particular order for this exam and they always start with installation. But I would suggest that you have a good understanding of the components as well as a good understanding of installation. So my approach to this, or my suggested approach to it, would be to go through the three installation videos, that's the first three videos, go through these reasonably quickly uh, and then go through the remaining uh, five videos which are all about the individual technologies and things like that. Go through these in detail and then perhaps return to the uh, the installation again, hopefully with a, a greater understanding of the bits and then it might start to make more sense for you. And when we start to think about the installation of uh, Horizon, uh, we need to start thinking about what are the, the, the sort of prerequisites um, uh, for it. And you're going to be expected to understand uh, the integration, for example, with uh, Active Directory, things like uh, domains and groups and roles and permissions and uh, uh, as well. And also, uh, you're going to be expected to understand the uh, network settings. Um, how's DHCP going to figure uh, in uh, this uh, as well? For, so what kind of configuration will you need for that? Um, also, um, the structure, uh, the suggested structure for you for um, uh, organisational units, for example. You might be asked a question uh, about um, kiosk desktops. And of course, um, they have a special suggestion for organi organisational units. Um, so uh, be aware of that. And then think about the system requirements for installation. The system requirements are not particularly difficult, so uh, have a read of those. They, 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 they shouldn't be too difficult to uh, remember. Uh, and then when it comes to licensing, give a consideration to the consequence, perhaps, of uh, licensing. You might be asked a question that it involves something not quite being visible that you would expect to be visible, and it could be uh, an issue with licensing. So it might be a good idea just to see the effects of uh, licensing. Um, and then, of course, these components need to connect to a database, so it's well worth understanding what that connection is, how that connection manifests itself in any special settings that you need to have for the uh, uh, database. And of course, you've got a number of components that work together. So uh, it would be a good idea to research each of these components, how they communicate with each other uh, and what ports they use. So that if you were asked a question, uh, for example, about how to set up a firewall, uh, then you would be able to do that. Uh, and then, of course, there are several component parts to Horizon uh, that you should have a good understanding of what each of them does um, and that will give you a good uh, help within your mind about the order of installation. So if you're asked a question about, say, the installation uh, of Composer, then you would be expected to understand what are the prerequisites behind that, what is needing to be in place uh, before you work with Composer. So I've got a few bits and pieces of documentation that 
you should find quite helpful for this. So where I'll start with you in the documentation is looking at the view installation document. Um, and what I'm going to do here is I'm going to search for database. We mentioned the database as being um, quite an important element of this. And here's a, a link here uh, that takes us to the supported database versions uh, and also, as a matter of interest, the supported operating system versions um, as well. Uh, if I do another search, we mentioned firewall. So I do a search for firewall. I find firewall rules for, for example, the connection server. And if I go in there, I can then see what ports are uh, required, what protocol, what direction, etc., so that you can set up a firewall for that. Uh, another very useful document for us is the architecture planning document. That's probably going to come up quite a bit in this series uh, of videos because it gives us a great high level look um, at our view. Uh, environment. I'm not going to go into too great detail on that one right now, um, but look at chapter two, planning a rich user environment. That sort of reinforces something that I said earlier on, whereby a lot of this is going to be driven by the end user experience, um, uh, what you would need to uh, achieve, video, audio, USB redirection, uh, things like that. And there's a lot more in this document, well worth paying. Uh, a lot of attention to. Um, another document is the end user computing uh, packaging and licensing. Um, specifically for what we are talking about here, page 15. So I've scrolled right down to page 15. Um, and what it does is it gives us the Horizon desktop licensing model. It's well worth getting to understand that in case you have questions that specifically ask you what will you get if you have this type of license? So in this video, we have looked at the uh, requirements for the installation. Um, in, ma in many respects, what we've looked at are some of the preparation options. And in the next video, we're then going to think about the steps that are used in the installation of Horizon.